All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all. We are back. Low internet. I checked my internet, and I found the speed is almost dead. The following in my YouTube. She said, "It's very ironic calling Islam false religion while they celebrate pagan belief." And she posted, actually, it's a Christian website, and this is a Christian article, supposedly. Now you see, you just you just shot yourself in the foot article and those are Christians saying we should not celebrate Christmas and they have their opinion why because in certain time they used to celebrate in the 25th of December a pagan uh, celebration now this is their opinion right for this is not the pagan day this is a Christ day this is why it's called the Christmas Sunday or the moon day and we don't have a sign of a moon in the top of our mosque as you Muslims do which is a very obvious that you are a pagan person putting the moon god sign in the top of your mosque why you put the moon there is that for something what what is the reason so what is meant by this occasion it what does count is not what somebody used to worship in certain date in the same day that is very stupid and naive. <clears throat> Let us say, uh, you see, now today, the Sunday. Are you? Does that mean you are a pagan? Because this is what's called Sunday for for a reason. People they used to worship the sun. <laughs> so should we change the name? Even very stupid. It's what is meant. This name is Sunday. It's a vacation day. It happened that before they used to designate this, uh, etc., uh, to certain occasions or celebration or even holiday. Your prophet himself, he said, that Allah, he made a Friday to the Muslims and Saturday to the Jews and Sunday to the Christians. So here we go. Sunday is, it used to be, pagan day. Why Allah adopt Sunday? So it's very stupid and naive. Anyway, she is a Muslim woman from Somalia, and Allah, He gave her all the wisdom in the world. This is why their country cannot even find one day of peace, even though Islam is peace. And this is why all of them, they are refugees from around the world, everywhere. Now, as long as she is talking about Christmas tree and Christmas uh, occasion, it's a pagan, then how the Muslims explain to us that they are spending hundreds of millions of dollars for a Christmas. And that this is a pagan occasion. Eleven million dollar Christmas tree in Dubai. Huh? I know what to say. Islamic countries they are importing by tons of millions of dollars of a Christmas tree and you must them celebrate and this woman herself you will see she will be celebrating a new year new year evening isn't it this is a pagan uh, year evening too for you <laughs> you know the Muslims are very desperate we don't kiss stones we don't worship trees. This is what we meant by this occasion. Now, can you tell me, you as a Muslim, when you kiss the black stone and you look, that can be God. When you have a black stone in the shape of a vagina of a woman, the pagan. When you are a prophet in the hadith, he says, whoever touched the black stone in the Yemeni corner, Allah will erase his sin. Is that a pagan? Touching a stone will erase your sin? Why? The power behind this stone. So, if some no problem, don't celebrate Christmas. It is not really a must. 
no. However, God, every day, it is the day of your Lord. As a special day for you to be the day of your Lord. Before me, used to be practicing whatever religion. Who, who care? What is my business with this? I mean, so what? You know, even some Christians they are like some like like Taliban. You know, sometimes it's very silly. Uh, something in certain days. So what I will do? I will delete this day from the calendar. That's it. There's millions of religion, and you will find that all those religion used to do be something in, in certain day. Monday, etc. So what we will do? If we go right now to India, do you know how many religion in India alone? How many languages? So we go and we will, uh, they have uh, every day a holiday. So we Christian, we should not celebrate the holiday because this is a, 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 a Hindu. because the Hindu they used to do. So this is have nothing to do. What the meaning of a Christmas? All right. Uh, yeah, I think it is the. It, I think it is the. The speed. Yeah, it's my internet speed. Uh, now I think you get the idea, right? So I hope. I hope that's. They understand and they do not go and kiss the black stone and lick it. Don't forget. And by the way, do you know why the black stone is dark? Maybe from Islamic reference. Muslim women, actually, sorry, before Islam, women they used to touch their but have a period and then they place their hand inside the black stone and then the men they come after them and then they hold their. They stuff it inside, excuse my language, inside the black stone. And that's the policy will make more lies and give them babies. He said the black stone used to be white as milk, and the sin of mankind made it black. So Muhammad he said something they believe that because you are a bad sinner. And Muhammad adopt everything the pain they have they go around the Kaaba they kiss a black stone the, everything they have he he adopt is a status of a man and a woman Isaf and Naila both they have six inside the Kaaba and two statues in a Safa and Al Marwa that is are complaining about a Christmas and you are saying this is pagan I mean this is dump surprised at the end of the day you are a Muslim who believed as a female the heaven and he will put you inside a tent in the size of 70 mile wide and you will be jailed there for as one mile size so should I blame somebody have a, such a brain and stupidity? Okay. If you Muslims are intelligent, you will not believe in any of the garbage of Islam. Black sin. But obviously, Muslims are hypocrite, something, and they do something else. So I want to say uh, thank you guys for. Uh, I apologize if the voice is not good. Maybe after we finish, it's going to be, I mean, fixed. I don't know. We will see. So I say thank you. And uh, I hope my idea was clear. If not, I will do the video again maybe tomorrow. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you, all of you. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.